What's up, everybody? Zavrin here, and we're back with this war of mine. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think we're pretty good. Uh, Zlata's feeling much better. We need to keep an eye on her. Zveta is starting to feel a bit unwell. Okay, that's, that's fine. So, uh, it looks like we don't need the bandages. You could just go to bed. Oh, she's wounded? Yeah, no. Zlata, you go bandage. Zveta, you go take your medicine. You're fine. You're just hungry. Um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and I guess move on through the day and decide where we're going to go at night. Um, I think when it comes to risk versus reward, it would make more sense to, uh, um, you're just hungry, huh? There's a lot to you can go to bed. Yeah, she's bandaged at time. You go to bed. Anton, you're gonna be our guy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on time through the night. Um, at about 9.30 or so, we're gonna wait and see if anybody shows up, see if there's anything we need. But from here on out, it's pretty much just making it to the end. So we're just gonna see maybe we'll go take a look at uh i just don't think it's worth losing anybody this close you know what i mean we've only got 10 days left or so usually it's around 40 days i'm i i, I say 10 days because usually it's could be a little over could be a little under i'm not 100 percent sure i don't remember uh if there's an exact set day um but yeah, we're definitely going to be taking a look more at this. Uh, we'll play, we'll go through some of the stories on this channel as well. I play them on my live channel, but we'll definitely play some of the stories on this channel. So, um, oh, cool. Go on, Anton. Come talk to Franco, please. Um, the only thing I think we could use is carrots. Um, that way we can make multiple meals at, this, at a time. All right, well, the kids that we gave the medicine to for their mom, they came back, so let's go see what they want real quick. And then we'll move time on again. Fuck. Um. Give me a sec. Oh, we, uh. Maybe later. Maybe later. I'm sorry, kids, but we don't have the canned food, and it won't take this it's it literally is canned food only which kind of sucks i should be able to give them these foods or these two meats but i can't that's why i said give me a second no or maybe later so i'm gonna have to try to find food to help them out um but yeah so i guess we're gonna move time on and see uh what happens maybe i can find the food um but yeah so there's that quick update uh cigarettes are back available so they're not worth as much anymore um a lot of disease and illness is ravaging through pogorin pogorin and then um that was pretty much it um and then i had anton break down a bunch of firewood and cook up all the food and then we grabbed two more food so that's pretty much it i'm waiting for this water i'm gonna get the water set up one more time and uh I'm gonna get the water set up one more time and that should probably do it. Um, yep. Yeah. So if we go anywhere else tonight, I guess I'll try to go find that food. Um, I wish I can give them those. I would have gave those that for, for sure, for sure, but it won't let me, so. Anyways, um, I need to make those. All right, yeah, so I'll be back. All right, well, I guess I decided to risk it for the biscuit. I don't know why. It's just to help the kids out, really, honestly. That's the only reason I'm even here. But we haven't gone to the construction site yet, and I think it's that time. So we've got to be super careful here. Uh, we will end up dying. It, it happens way more so than I would care to admit. Um, you can make it across here, but you got to kind of come up and around and through. But we got to keep a close eye out for these guys right here. Because these, they'll come get you, see? And sneak quietly. We'll get them from both sides. Oh, they're coming for me. Is there a hidey hole in here? 
No, I gotta come across this way. Go oh, here they come. Gotta run. Come on. Go up this way. I'm gonna go find a place to hide real quick. It will get us. Gotta be a place to hide. Come on. I know there's an area up here. And we gotta be super careful. Once we get in this little hidey hole right here, it will come get us. There will be one. See, here comes one guy now. Oh. Ooh, maybe it wasn't us they were after. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's usually the worst of it now. And once they're gone, they're gone. Um, we just have to be careful. Because there's usually those guys there, or sometimes there's a sniper up here we gotta deal with. Um, so I guess we just gently check stuff and keep an eye out for footsteps. I don't need that. I'm just coming here for the food. And I think the food is all in the basement, honestly. I'll grab that, for sure. No. Oh. Come hide. This place stresses me out more than the warehouse. Cool. We got one of the foods. Go ahead and tuck in real quick and look around. Make sure we're not missing any red feet. Um, I think we're good. So we have to try to find some more food real quick. We need two cans for those kids. And then hopefully we can get it and then they come back today. Oh my God. It's always so, 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 so nerve wracking, dude. We got a hidey hole here. Just in case that sniper's still up here. This one, I think we're either gonna need a lock pick or a saw for. I don't remember if we gotta get up here, but I think that's probably where the other food will be. We just can't get Zlata killed. We've taken too many risks. Zlata's almost paid the ultimate price two different times on two different occasions, so it's gotta be a little bit on the careful side. Yeah, saw, we need a saw to get up there. There's nothing else over here. We're just keeping an eye out for basically our hunters. I think they're already gone though. I really do. I made the mistake of jumping out at them before and then I got one of them. But then when I went to go run in the closet, you know, sometimes you'll see them like run in and run out, and run in and run out. That kind of happened to me. So she ran in, or not she, it was Marco. He ran in the closet, ran back out of the hidey hole, ran back into the closet, and by that time they already shot him. Got rid of him, so. Um, we got another gun for tra trade though, so that's always good. Um, tons of components. I'm not gonna take them, there's no need. It's not that we don't need them, it's just I would, I'm more interested in the food for the kids. So, we'll come in here, I guess. Come on, clear the door. I'd really like to help them out. Again, we're doing a good run this time, so... It's about that time. And I know there's stuff down here, but I don't remember if I need to get a, um... Lockpick or a saw for something down here, too. Because this is flooded... Now. But... After a while, if I'm not mistaken, it'll drain. Yes, it's just tons of components, which isn't that bad. I don't know. Can I come down here? Yeah, I can't get there because it's it's just flooded. So I guess we'll take what we can. So we're trying to save a food for the kids. I wish they could take like the, the animal meat or something else. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, we might be able to upgrade that thing too. We got the electrical parts we were looking for, so. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really we could build that would actually benefit us. It's all just like economy stuff as of right now. And we don't really need economical goods because we're, we're sitting pretty, so. Hopefully, maybe we could help those kids. Tonight, I had a pretty good haul. Look what I got. We were raided. Of course, we were raided. Um, two bullets is fine. You go to bed, Zlata. Oh, no, you're very hungry. Go eat and then go to bed. Um, Zveta, you're just hungry. You're just hungry. Uh, okay, yeah. I So, I will be back unless something happens. All righty. So, you know what I'm going to do? Since we got to two carrots, I'm going to go ahead and feed them all till they're well fed. Or at least not hungry. Yeah, they won't be hungry. Good. Now you're just tired, so you go to bed. You go eat. Because that's going to give us four more meals again. So we'll be, we'll at least be all on the same page of not hungry. And after all this time, we'll finally be able to uh, get everybody not hungry. <laughs> at the same time. Instead of like one be well fed, one go to bed. Nope. Uh, she don't need to go to bed. Let's we'll see what we need to upgrade that. Anton, you come over here and eat. And then we're going to cook some more food. And I think that'll be it, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pass time on. And then I will be back as soon as possible. See, this is where it's messed up. So the kids came back. And it's either just no or give me a second. I'm either going to have to make them wait for me to tell them no. Or just go ahead and tell them no. Because we don't have the two cans of food. They won't take... The animal meat and it won't take bowls of soup it will only take canned foods see that's one thing that's always kind of irked me that's the only thing that really ever irked me because let's be honest starving people aren't going to say no i don't want two bowls of soup i want two canned goods right um so we should be able to give them two of any food not just two only oh, strictly canned goods i mean i get it is we can't loot the canned goods or the cooked food because the cooked food is only for our residents. Um, that's why it can't be like, um, when we get raided, it can't get stolen. But for something like this, for pr story progression and stuff, we should be able to do this because now everybody's going to have negative effects for telling the poor little kids no. And we've, we're sitting on six food right now. You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason we can't do that. So, I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm sorry. You gotta go. The game says no. Please, maybe you can change your mind. Well, I mean, what am I gonna do? I can't say no again. I can't say, give me, wait a minute. I would change my mind, but the game literally will not let me. So, um, I have to come up here and do this, please. All right, yeah, I'm gonna pass on time. Wait, no, I'm not. Hold on. It was sad that we couldn't help those hungry children. I, I, I absolutely agree. We'd share some of the food. We'd share some food with those hungry children if we had any left. We we were sitting on six food, guys. We, we, we're, we are good. We can't do anything about it because the game won't let us. Anyways, I'm going to fast time on. Go ahead and end the day. This is going to be iffy. I don't want to go back to the construction site, but we're going to. Um... We're going to take a saw and a knife just in case we need it. I don't think we need the knife anymore. Um, but I do want to take the saw so I can go check up top. Maybe we can find another food and those kids stop back by and we can cheer everybody up. But I think we're pretty good now. Um, I don't want to count my chickens, obviously, because that's what gets us killed. Um, but I think we're good. I think those guys are like the biggest threat to this place in the beginning. Um, I could be wrong, though. So, wow, she's busting through doors. We just got to kind of go slow and check for feet. Oh, All right, maybe we can get the food here. I think this is where the food hides up here. Yep, there it is. Grab all. Cool. And we got some more meals. So we could actually get everybody pretty much to well fed now. And then just ride the days out. Like, literally just ride the days out. We got medicine and food. Now let's just go home. We don't need to risk it for anything. We're going to run home. We're going to go ahead and give the kids that food if they stop back by. I hope they do. I don't think they will, but I hope they do. Um, 
Yeah, and then we'll just call it good. I think we're just gonna ride the days out. Ride in the storm out. Let's get her up to well fed. And then she can come sit over here in the library or something. You come get well fed. We'll make two meals for Anton. Come get well fed. We'll grab these two. We'll make another two meals. And then hopefully those kids come by and we can get them well fed too. Oh, eat that. Sorry, Anton, you got to cook your food before you get to eat it, but she's been out busting her butt. So come down here and cook the meals. Um, we're going to make, what do I need? Firewood? Water. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that real quick. That way that'll get you fed. Please stop by back. Goodbye, kids. All right, anyways, uh, I got your food now. Um, yeah, I'll pass time on. Um, it's getting so close. I don't know if I want to, actually. Here comes Franco. I don't think this guy's got anything we need at all. Um, eat again. Eat again, Anton. We'll go help Franco out or see what Franco needs. And then we'll grab these food. And then we'll make the three more meals. Um, come up here and do this water first before anything. Get that water done and we're good. Um, and then we'll come talk to Franco. See if we get me, because if we get more carrots, that'd be good, right? And because water's a rarity and we've got four of these basic meds, I might be able to swap out some of these meds. And we got one good med. And with all the disease and famine going on right now, it's time to uh, figure that out for sure. So. So, let's see. Uh, he doesn't have any carrots or anything. We don't need anything from him. Uh, the tobacco, which isn't really worth it anymore. Um, he's got one of these and all of that firewood, I guess we could take from him. Oh, his bullets. Yeah, we could take all his bullets. That's for sure. Um, That's pretty much it. I would take the food, but we don't need it. Um, yeah, that's fine. It just gives us a little extra firewood. All right, get out of here, Franco. Kick rocks, you dirty bastard. All right. Uh, now I'm going to have you grab this. Of course, that just happens to be meat there now, which is good. There might have been meat already, though. Well fed, tired. So cold, bro. What are you talking about? What is that? 26, uh... 57, 58, 55. So that's not bad, right? I like to challenge myself on Celsius to Fahrenheit. Because you never know. It's good to know both. And it's good to stay up on it because you never know. Anton's well fed. Everybody's well fed. Yep. Let's just go ahead and move time on. Actually, I'll wait a second. I'll have Zvet to come down here. And I'll have Anton come up here. That way we could just spend some more components on filters and we just make as much water as possible. That would work out great. Alrighty. And, um, filters. You know what? Couldn't make that. They were bitching about not having another armchair, right? So let's go ahead and throw this up here in the living room. I don't want one down here in the basement. That's gross. Well, it's not gross. It's just not an admirable place to be chilling. We're going to put one there. And then Zlata. You know, I'm getting overzealous with the stuff. But anybody who knows me knows I could have a tendency to do that. 
down to a couple more days and we can get well fed one more time so and since you're here get the water taken care of right off the rip um anton oh yeah we're gonna make that anton you go to bed zveta we've got that food for the poor children but there's nothing we can do about it unless they come back which would be really cool um yeah i think the only thing i could have done is go get some more wood from places. Just go start hacking crap up. I guess we could do that tonight. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll go to that one place that we have 100%ed. And we're just going to hack the hell out of it. Um, Because the only thing we need here is wood. But there's no point in doing that. But we could build a third bed. They could all sleep in bed overnight. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, Zlata, come play some guitar for us. It's been a while. Zveta. Um, we should have enough to make some food now. I think. There it is. Yep. Hopefully those kids stop by. Sorry about the audio in my earlier episodes. I'm still I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, I'm gonna have to get a new mic eventually. Um, but what I but the setup I'm using now seems to be working better than what it did before. And I figured out being able to hear the game audio without it drowning me out over it as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of my new settings. Um, every little bit helps. Um, I enjoy being told where I'm wrong, where I'm right, and what I could do better. Uh, it just helps me figure it out for myself. Uh, Zveta, come down here and let's, um, throw some wood in this. I know it's not cold, cold, but it's cold enough, so. And then, um, nobody's stopping by, so we're just gonna ride the rest of the day out. Okay, we're back, and we've got Zlata playing the guitar for us, waiting until the end of the day, I guess. Um, yeah, I skipped past tonight. Uh, I just let them sleep in bed. Uh, tonight we'll send out Zlata with the hatchet over to that place to go gather wood for us. That's all we need, if anything. But, I mean, look at how hot it is in our house right now, right? Was that 40, 74 degrees, 69. So, I was close. End of day. Let's go grab some firewood or some something. Who, who knows? All right, we're going to scavenge you. You can sleep in bed. You can sleep in bed. We're going to prepare. We're going to take the axe. Oh, we got to go back and we got to find uh, the abandoned cottage. Prepare. Grab the axe and scavenge. I don't know if there's even any wood here to cut. We're going to find out the abandoned cottage. This is where... Wait. Wait. Uh-oh, it says sniper, so we'll go down this way. Oh, crap. I forgot to grab the axe. Well, let's just go home. Oh, my God. All right. Well, day 40. Run to exit. I forgot to grab the axe. Or the hatchet. I've been calling it an axe this whole time, and it's actually just a hatchet. Day 40. We're getting close. I can tell you that right now. I know that for a fact. Sorry, I didn't get anything useful. That's fine. Um, Anton, make some water, please. Zlata, you go to bed, please. I would love it if for those kids to come by. You come, um, let's see if we can make a bed. I just want to see if we could actually make a bed this time. Have all three people sleeping in a bed. You know you've reached the end of the game once everybody stays fed all the time. And uh, everybody's got their own bed to sleep in. We need wood. Everybody's got their own bed to sleep in. And everybody's got their own stuff to do. Um, it's 18C with heat. So, yeah. I think... I don't know. I, I think that's pretty much it. There's not really anything else to do. Yeah, you can go chill up there, Anton. Um, we're set. We need food. You're the, you always say we need food. Um, we're gonna wait. 
They're, yeah, they're just hungry. Um. Here, this will work out good. We got stuff we can trade, sure. I don't know what to trade him. We can get rid of one of our meds, one of our big meds there. That'll give us a ton of stuff. Um. So, he's got a carrot. We'll take that for sure. Um, consumables, firewood, wood, wood, wood. Um, let me see. I guess we'll take his bullets. We don't really need the bullets, though, anymore. There's not a lot we could do here. The abandoned cottage. I think I'm gonna let everybody sleep in bed, man. I really do. There's not a lot we need to do. Day 41. That's fine. Um, about to get started on the water right away. Uh, make that, please. Um, no food. Uh, I guess regular chairs. I don't know what we need for them, but that's what they're asking for. It's just regular chairs. Um, Anton sleeps in the basement. That's fine. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Sure. We've got enough to make both. So yeah, let's make the chairs. Let's find a place. We'll place that one down here next to your bed. Now they each have a chair. So, um, they really don't have anything to say. I, I, I kind of want to wait. Hopefully we see the kids today. I'll give them that food. If not, I'm going to feed everybody that canned food. And then wait for the rat to do their thing. So, Zveta, you can come sit down. Zlata, you go do what you got to do. Anton, do what you got to do. Anton, have a seat. And I think that's it. Yeah. Because we're set on water. We don't need water for anything at all. Um, I don't want anybody to drink because there's no reason for it. Oh, look, there's the food. Perfect timing. So, yeah. We've got... Technically, we've got three meals now. So... Um, can we make another bait? I'm not going to use a can good for that. So... Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to pass time on. I'm going to have... um. Zveta, come up here and eat this. Anton, I'm going to have you come up here and eat this. And Zlatan, I'm going to have you come up here and eat this. And then we'll have somebody make some food. Wait, er, 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 stop, stop, stop. Wait. Zveta, come over here. Anton, you come here. Anton, you come here. Don't don't go eat that food. I'm going to see what this guy's got to say. Pardon me. Thank you for opening the door. You're welcome. Let's talk. Uh, thank goodness you're here. A shell hit the tenant down the street and people are beneath the rubble. Please help me. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Um, Zveta, you come up here and cook. Anton, you go eat. You're going to go help them. Yes, we will help you. Hold on. Anton's got to eat food. He needs a tasty meal before he goes. Go ahead and make that. That'll feed uh, the two ladies for the evening. Um, Anton, let's go help these people here. And we'll see how it all goes. Uh, yep, yeah, let's go. All right, now I'm going to go to our things here. Uh, we've got chairs and armchairs. We have beds. Okay, cool. So we don't need anything but books. That's all they want now is just some books. Um, and I had books. I got rid of them because I didn't see here where it said everybody wants a book. Um, so we'll see if Franco comes back by eventually. If we can get rid of like one of these guns or a knife. And we'll trade them for some books. I was like, what are you doing, Anton? Uh, Zveta, the people from that collapsed house have uh, have good neighbors who didn't leave them to their fate. Many others are less fortunate. Yep, I agree. I'm glad we helped the people from the collapsed house. It was the right thing to do. It absolutely was. So, uh, did you eat? No, you're going to eat. And then you can come down here and eat. And then you, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. Um, we have two canned goods. I'm going to make a bait 
I'm gonna use this food to make a bait out of. Um, because it'll give us two back. If we get those two back, that'll give us two more meals. But everybody's fed and they're all content. So, I mean, it's not gonna hurt us any. Because even if we don't last until the end, we will, right? Like, or even if we, we last till the end, but we're very hungry at the end, it'll be fine. So you can come play the guitar. And, um, I think that's it. Yep. And then I'll play us on to the night. We'll see what happens. Um, you know what? You can sit right here. You can just chill here with the rats. Or is there somewhere else? Is there another chair that we could chill at? Uh, no. I guess you can come hang out up here. That's fine. I don't want you hanging out in the basement all alone. That's kind of messed up, isn't it? It's 12 degrees. Um, I'm not going to leave. Uh, yeah, I could leave Zvetta alone. Uh, actually, Zvetta, stop right here. Let's get that water started. Uh, yeah, we'll pass on to the night. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the news update. Uh, we may expect the upcoming days to be quite cool. One of our listeners suggests that there's nothing better than a cup of hot mulled wine on a cold day or cool day. Enjoy. And then day 41 here, right? Ready? We have confirmation that the peacekeeping forces are indeed en route to Pagorin. We should expect a ceasefire any day now. So we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Nobody's hungry. Everybody's content. So let's end the day. We're going to stay home. And, uh... Yeah, we're just going to stay home because Anton's gone anyways. And, uh, day 42. I really wish we had Pavel with us. Continue. We used the last of our bullets. You go to sleep. I know you're tired. Um, we're waiting on food. So, yeah, I guess I'll wait and see if anybody shows up. Um, but they're just hungry and the game's about to end. So, I'm surprised he doesn't have anything in his bio. But, uh, that's neither here nor there. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of some chores around the house. And if anybody shows up, we will be right back. The war is over. You've survived. So that was the last day. I'll probably just zip past it because I didn't really make any cuts. I just finished it off. The plea for help. Our neighbors felt unsafe and asked us to help her board up our windows. We did that. Day three. Day six. Father and child. Pavel helped a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to a sick child. Yeah, poor Pavel. Day eight. Desperate cry for protection. A frightened neighbor asked us to protect her against the bandits. Anton agreed to help her. Day 13. Blood on our hands. Pavel killed a bandit. And then Pavel died from a bandit. Day 14, Pavel died. Pavel was killed while looking for supplies. So, so harsh. Day 19, neighbors in need. Our friendly neighbors came to ask us for help in reinforcing their shelter. We were happy to help them. Day 30, saving a life. Our neighbor's children asked for medication for her. Um, we shared a little, the little we had with them. Day 36, hungry children. This is messed up. The children we had helped earlier came to ask us for food, but we couldn't help them. We could have, though. That's the thing we could have. Day 41, buried alive. In a shell, a shell hit nearby a tenement, and some people were trapped under the rubble. Anton helped pull them out. Day 42, cease fire. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into the force, eventually putting an end to the uh, fighting in P Pagorin. Those who managed to survive, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so... Zveta, the war didn't extinguish the flame that drove Zveta to give everything to her calling. And one day, she got a visit from a former pupil. The same, or yeah, the same who made a frantic call on fri or one Friday to make sure that the old school had really been evacuated. Zveta survived the war and was reunited with her brother in Canada. It took her some time to adjust to the new reality, but she found a job and even resumed her music studies at the Royal Conservatory of T in Toronto. Um, while war left deep marks on Anton's character, he returned to teaching in, uh, with newfound glory, uh, determination. And while two, and 
while too old for the field medal, Fields Medal, he still is eligible for an equally prestigious Abel Prize. And sadly, Pavel died. Will his family ever come back to Pogorin to visit his grave one day? Or would it be too painful a reminder of what they had gone through? Do the dead even care? Well, folks, um, that's where it ends. Uh, it was a great story. It's too bad we lost Pavel. But, uh, yeah, yeah such a good story. Anyhow, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and clicking the bell. And uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you want to see some of these stories here. Um, so, like, if we uh, choose an episode here, there's these three. Plus, there's more uh, in the modded, uh, the, the community stuff on um, Steam. So, let me know if you want to see that as well. And uh, as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.